Hmm. Okay, it looks like MVC is trying to find a view that's named with our random number. So the view method can accept an object as the model, or a string naming the view to use. Because our model is a string, we're probably just using the wrong overload. So let's take a look. Okay, there it is. We can have an object called model, or a string called view name. We want the object called model. Um, before we go, we need to actually read that isAdmin value. So we'll get rid of the to-do. And there we go. I guess we also need to create an account so we can actually log in. So on the administrators table, we'll update name and password, insert, user admin, password admin. Okay, now we're actually ready to try this. We'll try entering the wrong password. And the administrator links aren't shown. Even if you know the command, posts delete. Deleting doesn't work. Post 10 is still there. Now with the right password, there we go. Just to make sure, let's make a post. Now delete it. Good. And finally, log out. And we're no longer administrator. Now all the logic is complete, and all of the HTML views are complete. If you remember the sketches at the start, we also need an RSS feed, so we need to add another view of the posts with the same content, just in a different type of view. It'll work just like the index, except it will output some RSS XML instead of HTML. And we should probably make it show more posts at a time. So first up, posts per feed, we'll say 25. And call this action RSS. Create a syndication item for each post. which we need a reference for. And service model. And we'll get the posts that aren't in the future. ordered by date, and take 25. Now we need to convert from post to syndication item. Let's implement that. returns a syndication item, and takes a post. We'll make a new item with the post's title, post body, and link to the post.
and the response will be a feed of items called Matt Blagden. It's my blog. at mattblagden.com. And has the posts. Now to format this feed as RSS. And return the feed. MVC doesn't have a feed result, so we need to add one. It's an action result. And it takes a formatter. Store it. Make the execute action. And executing this result generates the RSS MIME type. And then we dump it all to XML. We write the entire feed. Now we'll go to Posts, RSS, and we have an RSS feed here. So in case you were wondering, the formatting is actually done by the browser when it sees a properly formatted RSS feed. We didn't generate any of that formatting but it does mean our RSS is at least close to right. That's about it for the blog content. We can do all the operations we need. We can output to HTML and RSS. I think the most obvious thing that's missing is that it's completely unstyled right now. So let's start with some graphics. First up is the title. Pick a nice font. Make it big, and white text. It'll just say Matt Blagden. And we'll crop it down a bit. OK, good enough. Now for the backgrounds. I can't really draw anything, so I'll just use noise. It's nice and easy. Start with some gray. Make a noise layer. Add the noise. And blend it a little bit. And let's dull that down a bit. OK, the main background will be noise, and we'll resize it so it's dense. Trim the edges, and done. The header and footer will be noise, and dark. Really dark. Not quite that dark. And let's make it blurry too. OK.
Finally, the separators. They're thin and light. Good. Now we do need one actual sort of drawing, and that's the speech bubble for the comments. I'll use design for that. Make it about font sized. And it's just a bubble with a little triangle in the corner. Bend that a bit. Okay, that's good enough. We'll make it white. And export. Call it comments. And put it in the right folder. Okay, now let's add all these graphics to the project, and we can start all the decorative stuff. And the main layout is a header, content, which we already have, and a footer. The header links to the home page. And has our main title image. The footer has some copyright text. And let's say a login link. So if we're admin, We'll link to the edit action. And the logout action. If we're not an administrator, the control panel just shows a login link. And lastly, the content. It's surrounded by our separators. Has a sidebar column. And a main column. And the bottom separator. Okay, let's get some styles going. 